What's happening, YouTube? We're gonna go learn the transform spell or transfiguration or whatever you want to call it. The hell? What's it wants us to go upstairs? Reading can be magical. Any spell. Why can't students? Anyway, how are you guys doing? The book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give yes, you this she did, book bitch. if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? I've forgotten. I think it's this one. Felix Could be phases. wrong. Well done. Since it Gotten. makes the drink temporarily lucky. lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcrux, isn't it? Was it the Deathly Hollows? Shit, I've forgotten. Three brothers. Is it Hollows or Horcrux? Oh, God. Um, I'm gonna go with the Hollows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct! Yeah. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Polyjuice? I know polymorph. Change species. It must be true. True. Actually, the answer was false. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I oh. suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. Damn. And I won't be giving you Missed any out. more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Damn, that's annoying that I missed I'll out on one. I'll put the book back on the pedestal for you. A venue to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Is she a side quest to do her stupid questions? No. Um, I do want to quickly see. Okay, these are side quests, it seems. Let me double check. Hold on. Side. Oh, these are relationship quests. Okay. Let's do it. Transformation. I thought it's transfiguration, but whatever. Whatever. Can't believe I got so many right. I was just 
I wasn't sure or what the first one I had no idea and then I wasn't sure about the Deathly Hollows but yeah beautiful goodness settle down settle down transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Is that it? Just boom and you know it? Okay, sure. Oh, hold on, hold on. I fucked something up here. What's going on? Uh, trying to use my phone sideways does not work. There we go. Oh god, wrong way. Oh god, F. Do we still learn it? You joking. Nah, you can't fail learning a spell? That's a bit broken. Beautifully done. Smashed it. And remember... Now is not the time to ease off your studying. Oh my god, we've learned all the spells. That's kind of broken. That's kind of broken. Oh man, where can we put this one? Shall we make this bottom row some more spells? We can make it fire. That's about it. <laughs> We've got everything else in the tree that we want to use, right? Yeah, we got stop, we got levitate, explode, or fire explode, explode. These are like max damage spells. Okay. We just need these two, which would probably put in this row. Yeah, I'll probably put in this row with freeze here, and then we'll move, move things around when we get the other two. I can't. It said we learn all spells, but we haven't. Hmm. You're quite close to Professor Fig, aren't you? I've always wondered about him. Never see him actually teaching. He doesn't actually sell this. Incendio. He doesn't actually say the spell name. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I uh, enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by one law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. 
I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, Benacing. the training dummy is available. In Glad to see you are paying close attention to my demonstration. Where's the dummy? Wow, its cooldown is huge. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Hey, yeah, well... My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Ugh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. Good. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Good. You need to. You need to be careful. These bastards are bastards. Okay, so those are main quests. Oh, Sebastian's is a main quest. Okay, well then we're definitely... I'm going to go deal with this shit because I really dislike her. So... That main quest. Yes. Mum's the word. How do I... Is, is... Oh. oh my god. Well, let's go do this stupid... Like, stuff. I, I don't like her, man. She annoys me. I've, I don't even know her freaking name. She just annoys me. So frustrating. Okay, let's deal with this bullshit. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. 
That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born in Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Yeah, because fucking in Africa, you can do whatever the fuck you want. They're like, oh, if you die, that's fine. There's a hundred more to come. No, that's not racist. I'm from Africa. That's the truth. It's just like, they don't fucking give a shit, bro. And it makes sense in the magical world. They just do whatever they want to do. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different yeah, perspective. Yeah, well, you're not having a kid yet. Fucking calm down, please. So all you want to do is pop our children. Relax. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced You're a bitch. that my Why aren't form you is a hyena, hyena, then? because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Ugh, she's arrogant, man. I don't like her. I wish we could, like, get her to piss off. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Hopefully it does. Yeah, can we do this so then she can fucking We're making get good taken progress. out? We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. I'm bored of you now. Can we like go to somebody else? Because I really dislike her. I really dislike her, man. Fucking so typical. This is me off, bro. I mean, is there any reason? I think we bought everything we can buy in Hogsmeade. Actually, I'm kind of interested. Let's go to the Edison Salon. They change our appearance. I want to see. I mean, I doubt they have level 40 stuff, but that's probably where I'll have to go to get level 40 stuff. When we're eventually there, we're far from it, actually, now that I know. What is it? O is O. He. You. That's that. So you is our talents. I don't think we can see our level from here. We need to come here. 35. So if we go to you, we should have... Oh, nice. We got this. Complete assignments. Done. Dope. Um, no, that wasn't actually talents. Hey. J. H. L. L. Al is not inventory. I have no idea what talents is, man. <laughs> oh no, it was. It was you. We just got one. I'm being silly. We've got the explodey spell. And we've got the transfiguration spell, so is it not? Uh not, not interested in stealth. I really am not. 
combat. No, you wasn't. My bad. Dark Arts. Ah, I need that, man. Spells. An instant. Oh, really? Oh my god. Yes, please. Turn them into barrels. Done deal. And then the boom. Boom the cloud one. Oh my god, there goes the frame rate. Like I said, for some reason, man, even on a 4080, hugs me just. It's. It's. Hello there. Broken. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Need a, I need to sneak up on this little bastard. Come on. Oh my god. Escape, please. Escape, please. What do we have here? A demi guys. Gotcha. Wait till evening. Get that demi guys quickly. Right now, demi guys. If there's any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Let's do it, bro. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Okay, so... Is this the same as what I'm wearing now? Dope. This is unupgraded, so... And I think because it's purple, we can max it. worth nothing but it's better than chucking it away you know and what do you have better than what we have now I mean I might as well slowly do it I've got all the parts you know what I'm saying you won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Although it is only tier two, I can use not tier three on my. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure. Uh, I don't care about fashion, dog. I care about. What are we at? We're eighty-six. This is eighty-eight. But we do lose the tier three. Where was the other? I forget. Was it a cloak or what was it? Robe. Yeah. Man, it's kind of shitty losing a <clears throat> tier 3, but... Oh, Impero, here we go! Let's finish the dragon one, we'll talk to Poppy, and then we'll go learn a new curse. Which I am down for, boys and girls. We are down for the curses! Oh my god. <sighs> Um, walk down the stairs? Over here. The fuck? Where's she at? What's up, people? Got a glass of wine, this nice. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Hey guys, I've I just I just quit the game. Oh fuck, not Baldur's Gate. Um, because I was freaking out. What the fuck is going on? Sorry about that, YouTube. Um, let's start this conversation again, shall we? 
This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say, at least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh gosh. Now our camera is just changing so much, man. <laughs> Let's deal with this. Why the hell are we so... Uh, saturation, of course. We can bring... Ooh, bring it down a little bit. What is going on with the light? I don't know. It's weird. That's maxed out. Is it to do with camera position? No. I like I like it over here. We can always put this on a, like this. I don't want it full brightness. Ah, that's very distracting. Um. Weird. We do this, it goes all types of crazy, yeah. Oh, God, this camera, man. So frustrating. Like, it's a decent camera and it didn't cost that much, but... Like, how it clips onto the screen... Oh, my God. You touch it wrong and... Oh, and the light ring is also, like, oh, blinding. Um, but I... I don't think I messed up too much here. I kind of just want to... I'm going to default it quickly. I don't know what is going on here. Ah! Okay, so we want to bring... Bring gain down a little bit. I think that'll be okay. It's a bit annoying, but what are we going to do, right? What are we going to do? Camera it up slightly. Yeah, camera it up slightly. Okay. I think you can see the reflection of the green in my hair, but whatever. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. Yay! How are you doing? Messing around with our camera. It's causing... Ah, because I have the window... Window, like, I'm facing out the window. I'm looking out the window now. Um, <clears throat> the... 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 It's not a curtain. It's like a fucking... I don't know why you even got a screen, I guess, but if it moves, it's old and been there that long that the back of it's got some type of dust that's just... Pfft, it's going everywhere. 
So I tried to lower it before I had the PC set up and that, and it went everywhere. I had to get the vacuum in and clean it. So I don't want to, and I couldn't get it off the damn wall to like clean it, to like wash it all off or something. So it's now just up. So in the day, I have to fiddle with the camera and we've got a new nice color, but when it becomes night, the light over here, my, my stream light, it's just a whole nother thing. Anyway, I give up. It's fine. It'll do. There's a bit of green in my hair, but you know what? Whatever, man. Playing some Hogwarts. How you doing, dude? Saw you right away. Yes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better at it because it's been a while. Oh, hold on. I need to, hold on. I can do it. I got my keyboard. My other keyboard is right here so I can go. It's like this. So we do that. Work it till nine. Get the fuck out, bro. Here comes the cash. Take, shine down. Get a couple of lost little fucking guys in the end, baby. That's like your quietest. Ooh, that's good enough. Your quietest shout out 140. ever. One forty. Clip it. Never mind. Turn it down a bit. Like I've I've had it specifically for you and Argan Norton. I've had to pull the slider way down. <laughs> you juke me. It was quiet and then it got me. Ah, uh, how you doing, dude? Till nine. That's just fucking crazy, dude. That is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go learn another curse. I'm super excited about that. Yo, nine o'clock, bro. Or eight, sorry, eight. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's mad. What do you work then? Six till eight? I don't know why my shirt is now going see through. What is going on, man? Fuck this. I give up. <laughs> you know, if I increase the saturation a bit, actually, it should sort that out. So if I do this, and I do this. Nope, it's making it worse. Contrast, maybe? Actually, if I make it a bit warmer, it helps a little bit. A bit more gain. But now I'm getting all washed out. Less gain. A little less brightness. Whatever. Oh, dude, I, I do not feel like being 8 till 8. That's uh, just a casual 12 hour day. You wouldn't be allowed to do that in the UK without being paid overtime. It's legal. It's illegal. Okay. Just ignore the... Um, The, the writing of the menu coming through me. Just ignore it. I don't want to be away, Jay. I go away on Sunday until the 1st of January, man. Fuck. I don't feel like being away. God damn, that's far. That is far. Good thing we don't have to fly. We can just use a, a blink. Boom. And there we go. Oh, are you home? Okay. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Are you still working at the office? Are you working from home again? I, I take Handy it you're s indeed. you're still Can't having to go to fine. the office, which I think is absolute bullshit. But you agree. But what can you do? Can't do shit. I want to go on there. Why? I don't know. I just want to. I don't know what you get from it. Can you land on it? Yes. Awesome. This game is dope, man. Still think the textures are a bit shit, but what are you gonna do? I mean, yeah. Office full time. Ugh. That's so stupid. Revenue. You're here. Good. Go, cool. teach me a curse, bro. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her.
I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Let's Perhaps do this. we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Yeah, we're fucking lying. We're lying to him. Student report. Catacomb assignment yielded more than I, uh, I'd imagined. Learning about the ancestors uh, was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room, which had uh, suffered decay, amid, amid, sorry, amid the uh, turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I um, sensed its power. Oh, did he have a uh, sight of uh, ancient magic too? Maybe, maybe, maybe he did. I would be thrilled to study the relic further, or maybe he didn't. If only the uh, removal of objects were allowed. I'd be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Well, let's see. Let's see what lies inside. I think after in the next 20 minutes or so, maybe even after sure we finish this, success. I'm going to grab Try a snack. Lose your nerve just yet. Revelio. Lose my nerve. Fuck you, bro. I'm a beast. You know what? You can Please fucking you. die. Finger. Boom. Come. Is it Revelio. dead? Oh no, it's just glitched. Oh, we, we knocked it so hard it went through the fucking wall. How about that one? Spiders, man. Here it comes. Oh my god, that sound. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the two were insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. I hear all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I think it was justified. Where are you, you fucking creepy, crawly, ugly sons of bitches? Revelio. This room is full of old hooks. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, where? Oh. Uh, I, hello? Why are you double fucking clicking, bro? Uh, can you climb, girl? Thank you. Keep thinking that's my phone dinging, that sound, because it sounds exactly like an alert on my phone. But it wouldn't ding, because my phone lives on Funny silence, chest. so. Conspicuous loft. Brilliant. Spider! Places! Uh. 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 Excuse me? I know I used the fucking. Why am I hurting? Why am I hurting? Revelia. Yeah. Revelio. Bombarda. Descender. Wrong one. Revelio. Accio. Guardi Leviosa. Accio. Revelio. Uh, which way to go? I want to go to the loots, but I also want to go to the door we had to smash open. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Fucking. Revelio. 
Yo, my dude, that thing went poof. That's a mad. Hey, hey, hey. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Revelia. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Yeah, we will, bud. Bombarda! Confringo! Fire one, I want it. So... Maybe later we'll do some Batman, guys. I want to get back and do another episode Rebellion. or another stream. I really enjoyed it. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Bombarda. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Revelio, bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Yeah, we've done this shit Bombarda. before. We've made it this far. But clearly we have more to do. Whoa, hello. Bombarda! Revelio. So we've got to run across with, um, the light. Where is the light? Light spell. Lumos. I need to find a safe way across. Accio! Interesting. Revelio. Uh, I want that. Lumos. So we'll be safe. Oh, we really can't jump that? That kind of sucks. But we can jump that, of course. Of course. I don't know what we're going to play in January yet, guys. I would like to do a new release. Maybe the new Star Wars. There's something here by the altar. Maybe. Accio. You know, but I think by now... Final Fantasy 16 should be in a good place. Maybe we do that in January. That could be cool. But also, there's so much talk about this PS5 Pro, so kind of want to get that before we get Final Fantasy 16. I don't know. We also got The Last of Us Part 2 Remake or rema Remaster, sorry, for PS5. So it actually runs properly. That's also a game to play. Yeah, there's talk of a PS5 Pro coming out. There's specs on it or supposed specs on it and stuff like that. So I don't put it past them. They've released the Slim. That's exactly what they did with the 4. They did the 4. The 4 Slim. Okay, they did the 4 Glacial, which obviously the PS5 released in white. Maybe they do a black one. Um, call it Blackout or something. Um, yeah, PS5 Pro seems like it's going to come out next year. Seems like it. Don't know if it's true, but it seems very likely. And um, definitely going to get it because the PS5 is shit. So the Pro would be good. You know, if we can actually run games at 4K with ray tracing at 60, that's what needs to be. Uh, it probably won't do it. It probably won't do it, the Pro. But who knows? I mentioned the relic in my report. Research, faulty rules. Uh, how is it? Oh, I think we'll show it. Ones have powerful. Two, I believe it. English oak? Nice. Actor, I conjure two barricades to isolate the relic. Uh, ancestors, forgive me, but I used. Oh, very bones is the key. Okay, cool. An excellent learning the imperious curse. The spell is said to serve 
while against the enemies. What did you find? Um, you know what? The only reason, the only reason anyone should buy a PS5 is to play the Spider-Mans because Miles Morales is dope on PS5. Uh, Spider-Man 2, of course, I think is only on PS5. I don't think it is a PS4 release. What else? I mean, of course, Final Fantasy. God of War, I mean, I waited and I played the, you know, the, the, the 18 or whatever on PC. Way better than on PlayStation. Way better. I might just wait for God of War and Ragnarok. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Um. Rebellion. That's about it. Spider-Man 2 and... Final Fantasy 16, the only reason to own a PlayStation 5. I mean, even if you had like a 20 series graphics card, like a, a 2070 or something, it's still better than a, a PS5. Like, nah. I um, kind of wish I'd spent that on a new CPU than buying a PS5. It's very underwhelming. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. So hopefully the pro is somewhat good. That way it'll be worth having. I mean Final Fantasy 7 was already amazingly good on PS4. I played it on PS5 and I wasn't impressed. It looks exactly like on PS4. Like I played the the new the new DLC the retro intro inter, integrate 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 sorry with the whatever that DS, DLC is called with the new like the the chick Yuffie I think it was um, cool but I think it would be just as good on PS4 like. Um, where was that? There you go. Yeah. I mean, I'd personally just wait for them all to come out on PC and then play all of them. Because part two... Part 2, Final Fantasy 7 Part 2 is only come, is it next year? Like February or March it's coming out? It's fucking mad actually. Like you might as well just wait to all releases and just play it on PC because it'll be better. That's what I think anyway. I mean, Persona 6, you might as well just play it on PC or on um, PS4 because, let's be honest, it's not like it's going to be a graphically amazing on PS5 because it's pretty much anime, playing anime, so um, this is going to hurt me now, so I need to pull this. Can I not? Aha! You got to be quick. Lumos. You got to be quick. Akio. Lumos. Don't get Lumos. me wrong, the PS5 is decent. Like, if you don't have a PC and you can't afford one because fucking PCs are expensive. Like, if I never built this PC, it would be amazing. That probably would be like the PS5 is amazing, but um, yeah, if you, if you, if you, it really is, and convenience, like I've taken it away with me, and it is cool, but it's definitely not, um, if you're a PC gamer, don't buy a PS5, it's not worth it, or an Xbox, by the way, yeah, an Xbox is fucking worse.
Why did you do that? You should have just kept quiet until they asked you for it. Or something, you know? I mean, you're not being... I mean, I guess you're somewhat dishonest doing that, but... If they lost that you owed them money, that's their fuck up. I mean, I wouldn't have said anything until they said something, personally. Because if they're going to be that fucking clueless, then they deserve to not make any money. <laughs> oh, did I, did I miss something? I hate missing loots. Oh, I would have done that, bro. Like, if you, if you, if you've got millions lying around, sure, but if... If they're gonna do silly stuff like that... Oh, shit, I think that's actually outside. Like, I'm not saying be scallum, but if they didn't put it on the books and they've forgotten... Well, too bad for them. What does this fool want? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. I mean, you that was your chance to, uh... I'll look around and see what we missed. <laughs> Hold on to that, that was diary your free... entry. There may be more to it. It You're does free mention from life. something Life was like, here you it go, bro. It says the next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Do one thing or do the other. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Let me learn the curse, bro. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. I doubt they dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Yeah, dude, like, if There's somebody, if, if, you, were, if you were asked, like, I'm all for if somebody asks you, listen, did you make, did you end up taking a loan out with us? It's not on the books, but we can't remember. Uh, did you, or did you never go through with it? I would have then been honest, but if no one asks me, fuck it, bro. You don't ask, you don't receive. That's how I see it, man. Revelio. I'm not in the mood for this shit. Spiders be gone. Levioso. Oops, wrong one. Just warning you, I have fire. Do not come and start something I will finish. Before we trudge on Revelio. further, I just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Uh, is that a fucking question, bro? Yeah, how do you know it, you little shit? Where did you learn the Imperius curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Yeah, I don't care what it entails. How about that? Your first choice is no. We want to be it's evil as we can, though. Spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an I mean, ability did they that ask evidently you? no one's seen for if centuries. If they didn't ask you, just fucking leave it. So you're not being dishonest. Focus your wand movement. Anyway, it's not an easy too late. spell to it's master. It's done. Bro, every spell is fucking easy in this game. It's not like the old fucking Harry Potter where it was fucking hard as shit. The amount of times I had to relearn or redo spells was crazy. There we go. Something oh, troubling ahead. Imperio! Who's ready to get fucked up? Do that and we'll do slash. And then explodey. There. So we'll do that. I mean, I feel like Levitate is better than that. And then we've got those. Because we've got Levitate in um, fucking this guy. What's this called again? Flipendo. And we don't need... We don't need Levioso. We'll Flipendo them. I mean, if we really want to stop, we can put it there. But... 
Oh, baby. We've got two fucking curses. Four thousand two hundred crit. Oh, that is juicy. That is juicy, man. We love it. I might leave my. Uh, oh my god, that's a big boy. I might leave my uh, fucking screen off for a little bit. My camera. Oh, miss shit. Hey, take the curse, bro. Boom! Take some fire! You're gonna die, you're gonna die. He's on fire, running around screaming. It's actually horrific. Boom! Crucio! You fuck right off. Oh god, you got me. Oh no. Uh pieces. What is going on? That's the second time Hogwarts has crashed. Oh, we're gonna fight again, YouTube, but anyway. We have a, we'll, we'll get a 50-90. So that'll be... That'll be the idea. That'll be the idea. YouTube, you're watching this over again. Sorry, Twitch. It's kind of what we have to do, I'm afraid. So we'll, we'll see how things go. Of course, there's other stuff. I need to finally finish paying off the car next year, hopefully. I don't know. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. And of course, games cost a shitload. That's if I have fucking time for this stuff, you know? Time is the key. Time seems to be a premium the past few months for us, so we'll do what we can. Confringo. Bombarda. How did I miss? Ah. Can I just turn you into a fucking... Oh no! What the fuck? You fucking fuck! You are gonna get fucking cursed, you big motherfucker. Oh, it's on my team. God damn. That was mad. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? We're talking about you never knew spiders could make a mess. How's game in front looking though, Jay? If you're still around, is it um is the focus still going to be Genshin? It seems like you haven't played Honkai forever on stream. I mean I haven't been able to come to a stream for a while. I kind of see you're on. And I try and I try and come on and say hi if I can, but you know, with work so much. Or oh, since I've been home, I'm doing it myself. Oh god. Rebellion. Seems like you're mainly focusing just on Genshin again. Which is I mean it's fine, that's kind of 
That's your thing. This cat's pure is suffer decay. Also, just grinding out Asia so much, is that just so you're not behind when you play with your Asian time. viewers? <sighs> like, there's so many directions to go. I'm like, oh, the loots. Although it doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't matter the loot. How gracious of you. Oh. I try. Revelia. I didn't even pay attention. Hold on. Descender. Oh, my bad. Accio. You come here. Go over there. You're pushing buttons. Why aren't you doing... Hold on. I'm just pulling shit. That's that. What is... That is circle thing, not that circle thing. I need circle thing, so can you reset for me? So I need circle thing and stairs. Circle thing and stairs. You... Revelia. I need, um, stair and that thing. So I need stair and that thing. Thank you. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Oh, that's not good. How boring. Is that where I need to go? That this seems to be the right way. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. We don't want to go the right way, we want to go the opposite. That's my rule, guys. The way you need to go is not the way you go. The way you need to go is the opposite direction in which you go. Confringo! Carry any more potions. Dope. I'm down for being full on potions. Okay. What are we looking at? Oh shit, we're over an hour on the recording. YouTube, we will be right back. Sorry about the issues that uh, we had in this episode. Uh, the stream seems to be a little bit um, hazardful, if you will. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one, YouTube.